Hi, I'm Julie Tatter from Skin Cognito Body Painting on behalf of Global Colors YouTube channel. This channel is full of everything face and body art from step-by-step -step tutorials to product reviews, special effects makeup and much more. But best of all, I get the opportunity to show you the beautiful Global Colors product range in action. So make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of this amazing free training. This week is another episode in our intermediate series, so let's get started. The brushes you'll need for this design are the Global Colors half inch filbert, three quarter inch filbert, and two round number fours. The Global Colors face paint you'll need is lime green, fresh green, and pearl green, neon yellow, white, and black. You'll also need a stencil of some kind. This one is a badass in Reptiliana. You'll also need a face painting sponge. The first thing we're going to do is mix up on the three quarter inch filbert, the lime green and paint it like so in an outline and then fill it in right around the eyes making sure that the child, if you're painting it on a child, has their eyes closed. Just be careful near the eyes because face paint can sting if it gets right into the eyes. Get the subject to look upwards when you're painting underneath the eyes using a sponge then to blend in all the brush strokes. Now using the pearl green, we're going to outline that whole area with a number four round brush. We're now gonna take our half inch filbert brush and we're gonna use the dry brush blending technique, often also called drag blend technique, where we pick up just the very inner part of the line of the pearl green and pull it in to create sort of a gradient between the lime green and the pearl green, just gently pulling it in. We also have a tutorial on this in a separate part of the channel if you wanted to look at that. We then take some neon yellow on a sponge and gently dab it on the top of the cheeks also above the eyebrows. We're just using this yellow to help the stencil that we're going to use in a minute to really stand out just that little bit more. So we don't really need to blend it heavily. Now we're going to take some pearl green on a sponge and our Reptiliana stencil and just dab that over the centre of the forehead. You can see there how it comes out really nicely. You just have to make sure that your sponge is not too wet. We're now going to put it on the side and on the other side as well, just tilting the stencil a bit to make the pattern look like it's creeping around the face. And then down the bottom of the cheek as well. Now you'll notice here it goes over the lines a little bit. We're gonna leave that so I can show you how I fix my mistakes in a moment. So how I fix mistakes is I get a baby wipe and wrap it around the end of a paintbrush to make like an eraser. So I just wipe that over the area and they're gone. Now I'm gonna take a number four round brush with my pearl green and draw in an evil eyebrow. I've got a tutorial on our channel on an evil eyebrow, so you can watch that for reference if you like. I then just take a sponge and blend all of that through all over the eyelid. And underlining underneath the eye, I tend to dab rather than draw a line so I don't pull the skin. Then I'm just gonna blend all that through. Now I'll grab a half inch filbert brush and a tiny bit of black and wipe most of it off on the back of my hand. This way we just have a small amount of paint on the brush and allows us to give that feathery drag brush look to soften that harsh line. We are going to go back in and highlight that so you'll see that line almost disappear towards the end. Now we're just doing that evil eye on the other side and filling it all in. We've switched to a three quarter filbert for this because it's bigger and faster and also it gets into those nice round shapes much more easily. If you are painting a smaller child and they don't like having a brush near to their eye, you can always use a sponge for this part. Now with some neon yellow on a round brush, we're gonna highlight that frown area which helps to reduce the previous dark green line and also make the brow line look like it's really protruding. Now with the Reptiliana stencil and some fresh green, we're gonna go down the nose. Now, round number four brush, pearl green paint, we're gonna do some little scallop shapes on the side of the nose right up to the bridge and on the other side, making sure it's symmetrical. Now we're gonna take a half inch filbert brush and feather out those edges using the dry brush method. Takes a little while, but it's really worth it to give that dimension. 
While I'm doing this, I'll just mention that all of the Global Colors products that I'm using during the video, I'll list down in the description box below. Also, don't be afraid to experiment with other colors. You might want to do an orange base with some deep reds instead of the dark green, for example. Now I'm going to go back and dry brush the other side. And if you feel like you might have gone too far with a dry brush, you can always go back in with some lime green or the base color and blend that out. Now with the pearl green, I'm going to draw in the nostril on one side and then on the other side. Next I'm going to take some Global Colors white paint on a round number four brush and I'm going to make sure that I have a really pointy or tip. Watch the tutorial on that if you um, don't know what I mean there because it's really important to get a nice fine line. I'm going to highlight both sides with that brush. Then I'll take some neon yellow and fill in the center of those just to really lift those scallops and make it look like a bulgy nose. Going back in now and highlighting the edges of the nostrils as well. Now above the eyebrows I'm just going to make that look a bit more protruding with some white and take that original filbert brush and sort of blend that through. It still has some of that original lime green paint on it. More white on that same number four round brush and we're going to make the horns. It's really important that the base is dry for this step otherwise you're going to get some muddy greens through the whites. Next take some lime green on your round brush and we're going to draw in those sort of skin folds that form where the horns come out. Just little crescents under each of the horns. Then taking some of the pearl green on the number four brush and making sure again to have that really sharp boat oar on the end of your brush. Again refer to the tutorial if you don't want to mean there because it's super important. You just can't make a nice fine line if you haven't loaded the brush correctly to get a nice fine tip. More teardrops, nice thin to thick or thick to thin lines. You might need a couple of layers of the white if you've got a bit of muddying with the green. And really just controlling that pressure. These horns look 100% better if you've really got a nice sharp tip on the skinny end of that teardrop. If you are struggling a bit or would like to go back and do a bit of revision on nice sharp teardrops, just pop over to the tutorial of that in the beginners series on our channel. We're now just doing those crescents again over the top of the horns to give that skin fold look. And then we'll take some pearl green and do some thin lines to give dimension to the skin folds. Just remembering again that to make a thin line you don't need to use a thinner brush, it's all about pressure. I've used the same number four round brush on this whole design. On the thin lines I just press lightly and on the thicker lines I just press more heavily. So just going around the whole face now, just tidying up the lines and making sure everything's symmetrical. Now you can just leave the design like this, there's more than enough detail on there already. But if you wanted to take it a step further, you can use your Reptiliana stencil again with a bit of that neon yellow. It just brings the cheekbones out and makes them really pop. Also if you wanted to do a bit more dimension on the horns, you just take a tiny bit of the pearl green and the black, wiping most of it off onto the back of your hand, then just drag blend that into the base of the horns. Just gives them a bit more of a three dimensional look. And there we go, all done. Hey guys, thanks for watching this tutorial and we hope you got a lot out of it. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up so that we get to learn what you like. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to write them in the comments box below and we will address those in a special episode coming up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future episodes. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. See ya!